Hello, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the seventh and the final round of Swiss. We still have two for the cut, but the last round of Swiss in the Nova Open X-Wing World Qualifier. This round, I'm joined by my good friend, JJ from Planning Face Syndicate. How's everybody doing? We're here to have a good time, and yes, if you look at the screen, your eyes do not deceive you. We have a mirror match. Yes. Not only ship for ship, JJ, but upgrade for upgrade. Yes, that's right. If, if this was the battle of the road roll, this is it right here, right? Yeah. Here. Everything is going to come down to that road roll every single round. Uh, the exact mirror match is like... You know, we, they went through the world between worlds and uh -huh. ended up facing each other right in the center, and now they're going to have a fight. Let's do it. Yeah, it'll, it'll be interesting to see how this ends up going up. But, yeah, that player order role is going to be super important here. Uh, let's just set up the delineation between the two squads. You see you have some coloration there. Andrews Han Solo is rocking the... Um, that the oldest paint job of them all, meaning the, the, the brand spanking yeah. pretty one. Uh, so we go ahead and highlighted that as blue because it has those blue markings on it. Um, Andrews Fenral and Luke Skywalker uh, have just those black rings around it. And Keo is in the red model of the RZ-1 A-Wing. On the other, other side, Josh has the classic um, New Hope version of the... Uh, Millennium Falcon. Fenrau has a green collar and has the diamond shape markings on the ship. The Luke Skywalker on that side has a pink collar and Keo is in the blue RZ-1 A-Wing model. We'll do our best to keep it straight for you, but those are your keys to the game. Let's go ahead and break down this squad. Um, we are playing Scramble the Transmission in this one. Uh, first ship is Han Solo. Yeah, so Han Solo is the Initiative 6, uh, the Millennium Falcon pilot that we see here. Uh, his ability is after you roll dice, at uh, if you are at range 0 to 1 of an obstacle, you may re-roll all your dice there. I uh, mean, that works for both offense defense if you go over any obstacles mm -hmm. uh, Han can reroll it all there uh, he comes with the Millennium Falcon title engine upgrade Biston he's the uh, pretty much stapled on to Han nowadays mm -hmm. allowing him to uh, attack twice if he has a focus token uh, chopper crew and perceptive co-pilot giving Han those double focuses that he needs uh, to uh, to mount his shots and uh, shoot twice there and Ch chopper does a great job of helping you mitigate the stress yes. penalties so that you can always have almost always have yeah. those perceptive co-pilot focuses yeah and, and especially in this particular scenario being able to uh, still uh, like claim the objective or yep. boost out of arc and uh, and still take the red focuses there uh, that's very very big uh, following up here we got Fen Rao uh, flying the Fang fighter here his ability is before sh uh, friendly ship at range one to two engages if there's an enemy ship at its front arc at range one that friendly ship may remove one non lock red token uh, so that could be a stress that could be a uh, sorry a uh, target lock at the plate or strain uh, for that he comes equipped with best guard reinforced plating uh, which allows him to discard uh, crits if he's, he has the enemy in this front arc he has predator and then a crack shot uh, to round off that list uh, being able to pull off that uh, push in that damage in uh, when he gets through there uh, then following up there we have the battle of Yavin Luke Skywalker uh, he has has uh, two force here, initiative five. His ability reads, after you're declared the defender during an attack, you may recover one force. Comes equipped with hope uh, that allows him to focus or do a boost action after a friendly at range zero to three is destroyed. Comes with attack speed, allowing him to do the straight boost after a straight three or a straight four maneuver is executed by uh, Luke. He has instinctive aim, allowing him to shoot that proton torpedo uh, by spending the force. And then R2-D2 allowing him to regen uh, shields and gain a disarm token there. And then lastly, we got uh, Kyo Venzi in the A-Wing uh, rocking just Juke, allowing him to spend the or use that evade token uh, to uh, bring down a hit result down to a focus result on offense there. Real quick, I think we, we started with, a, with Josh getting three damage on Keo straight away. Oh, did Keo not take a token right off the bat? There's no token out there. I think decided to boost. Oh, man. And now, I mean, I, Keo has a force. Has a force debating whether to use it or not. Yeah, I think I think you use it. You don't want to be 
behind the ball here. Oh, opting to. I uh, think take we heard it. him okay. say, I think I'll just take it. So that's going to bring Keo down to one hole right off the bat. Yeah, okay. we got to get those uh, choose your champions out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, we did an open the best. Good morning. Yeah, they're uh, they're playing like they want to go to lunch early, man. <laughs> <laughs> Play aggressive, oh, be aggressive. Yeah, and that's the that's a stinky part about Luke, right? You can do that four straight and then boost, essentially giving you a like a five and a half almost, yeah. right? With that small base, and gets him to um, to get into that attack range at uh, niche, at at. Uh, ah, at Rage Street, just fire off that Proton Torpedo. And if you're not prepared for it, man, that can really catch you off guard there. Luke doing a good job. All right, so we are playing Scramble the Transmissions here. We have the three objective tokens out there. A player can use their action to basically, we like to, to, to lovingly say, click the button so that they can uh, get a point at the end of the end phase, can be claimed starting in that second round. It will be uh, be interesting to see what happens. Essentially, being the second player will have its advantages, especially a higher initiative to be able to click the button. Usually, the scramble, um, the scramble objectives end up really creating this momentum towards the end of the game with three points being distributed a turn. Because once they're clicked once, it's a guaranteed three points a turn every time. Sometimes. There are games where the the buttons don't get pressed right away, and I'm curious to see. I'm curious to see if in this game, because it's a mirror match, will will there be some hesitation to actually end up clicking the buttons, scrambling those yeah. those objective tokens? Because if you're second player, there's a good chance you can reposition yourself and get a really good attack. Yeah, but you may be giving up the opportunity to click the objective. I don't know. It's it's kind of a, a back and forth there. Yeah, it, it really ultimately depends on if you're able to, especially with Han, if you're able to get two shots off against your opponent, um, then you get and consider whether or not you're going to take a focus token to make sure they can get two shots or just click the button and then just use Han's reroll ability. Based on where Josh's Han is right now, yeah. I might just consider just turning away. I mean, he's, he's going to be staring down Han and Fen on that side, and Han definitely does not want to take those shots back-to-back uh, -back like that. Mm -hmm. That's how you lose Han. All right, looks like people got are getting their bets in, leaning, I mean, a hard lean to Josh Benjamin right away yeah. because he got <laughs> some damage on Keo. Listen, I'm not blaming you. I'm not blaming you. <laughs> you know, and there's some discussion in the, uh, in the chat as to future points modifications. Will we see Han, how will we see Han changed? So I have, I have a couple of questions. If... If Biston was, let's say, banned, or the points go high enough up where you couldn't take, because I'm thinking, when points rise on upgrades, you essentially start to chuck things out the window till you keep the most important two. And from what you have here, I think people would be willing to probably throw away the Millennium Falcon title first. Yeah. Right? That'd be the first <laughs> one to go. And then if you ran out of points then, uh, you would throw away engine upgrade after that. Uh, and then after that, you if Perceptive Copilot and Biston, that's where the question goes in. Would I rather have the bonus attack anyway? Probably. I throw away Perceptive Copilot yeah. and if, you, if Biston were to take up all of the the uh, the points there is Biston the problem is I mean because you're bringing yeah. Han because he super modifies everything and he gets to shoot twice yeah I think Biston at, at initiative is, six yeah Biston probably is the the problem there for you I mean you can if if Han had a choice to just be single modded and he's staring down at a bunch of ships he's still probably going to spend that focus to uh, to modify his second attack with Biston. So I, st yeah. I still think that we'll see a lot more use of Biston, even if he increases in points. Uh -huh. Does he deserve a bend? I don't know. Uh, it, it's 
It's very situational. In being able to disable the perceptive co-pilot, uh, double focus, and the stun combo will definitely bring the power level down yep. to the point that Han now is more susceptible to jam, which will take away the double shot there from Han. Yep. Um, and I think that makes it a little bit more fairer in that point there, uh, just bringing that jam tech to kind of neuter Han's effectiveness yeah. with uh, with that combo there. And a correction to what I did say, uh, I forgot the, the Falcon is, the, the Falcon title is now free. Yes. I forgot about that. <laughs> free Falcon title. Sorry. But yeah, they will try It hasn't always been free. They'll, they'll <laughs> sacrifice it if they have to. Sacrifice it for zero. <laughs> sacrifice the title for uh, for Bassan? Yeah, sure. I'll do that. <laughs> All right, so we got an aggressive move here from Luke uh, going towards the center. Uh, we'll flip that center objective that Keo just claimed. The force is with him. He is one with the force. All right, so we're going to mark Fen so that Luke can get out here. Luke doing the one bank. Mm, it looks like he might not have a shot. Hey, that's going to be a close call there. But he uh, probably is going to claim that objective token. Yeah. Oh, he He's grabs a lock on Takio. All right. Looking to finish Kio off there. Four straight for Fen. He's like, Look, listen, I'm bringing my friend, and I'm going to beat you up. <laughs> I've, yeah. come, I've come to try to hurt you. And, uh, you know, those uh, those Fang Fighters are good at range one, I hear. <laughs> They're pretty good. They're pretty good. <laughs> All right. Considering the uh, probably the boost here and the focus. Although so he could claim if he thinks that Han is going to run away. Yep. The barrel roll doesn't get you out of the arc. I, I think focus is probably the right call. It also depends on what you what you think Han is doing, right? So if he's going going to the left to start the the do, -si -do then you're fine. If he goes to the right, it's also okay because then he's going to have to rotate to shoot you. Yeah, or he can boost and still take the the side shot. Mm -hmm. I think I might claim here. Yeah, I think I'm I, leaning I think towards the claim. claim. Yeah. Yeah, because if you can um, if you can scare Han off, it's going to be hard for, for Josh to come down and reclaim that objective again. So he went ahead with the focus. Han's going to one straight. Does not have range to claim there. Josh's Han is on the runaway. Yep, so we'll, you're, you're facing the brunt of the uh, the opponent's list there, and ooh, is that an overlap? No, 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 okay. no, barely, just, just a bit barely. outside. Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> oh man, the way that that the model jiggled there for a second, I was like, oh. Yeah, that's just the the post. The post yeah. got a little wiggle on it. All right, Josh is Fenrau. hopping over Luke Skywalker. And gonna go ahead and flip that claim. <clears throat> yeah. It's funny, they actually are doing the colors backwards than what we normally do <laughs> from over there. So I'm gonna have to keep that straight because I'm gonna look over there and be confused for the people. All right, now we get a range three shot here onto Han. All right, it's range three, here we go. Andrew with that first roll, single hit, squiggle, got it. Nice. No damage there. Han Solo on Andrew's side has nothing. Josh is time to retaliate. His Fen does not have a shot over there on Luke Skywalker, but Josh's Han does on the Fang on the bottom. Another single hit. Probably yep. going to Han it. Yes. There you That's go. three. No problem. And easy peasy. He does have a baston shot onto the opponent, uh, Luke Skywalker, there. That's right. So, bonus attack. Oh. If it's not three hits, you re-roll it. That's pretty much what the Han players do. And Ooh, there you go. Even better. Okay. Natties, ah, baby. Nice, natties. Nice, Let's go. Nice. Let's see some natties in the chat. All right. Strong, uh, strong rolls there by Andrew, uh, making up for the Keo earlier. All right, three hits going into Han. Han rolls one. 
Uh, is that a rain street? Yeah, you should roll one yeah. more. There we go. Oh, there we go. Counter natties. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mutual natties with natties. So that's going to be one shield down on Han Solo on Josh's side. Yes. Range one, Luke Skywalker on Takeo is going to spend the lock. There we go. Full string. Shoo. And is that goodbye, Keo? I think so. Erased. Yep. Erased. Oh, man. The Kia would have spent the, the force the last turn. Uh-huh. Man. Ugh. And that's an early three-point lead there for Josh uh, leading into this round here. That's right. And we got. let's get the salutes in the chat. Goodbye, Keo. Number, number red. All right. And that is the end of the round there. Uh, very strong start there for Josh being able to uh, eliminate Keo. Basically, that target of opportunity, Andrew probably was not expecting to get shot there so fast and take that much damage right off the bat. Yeah. And uh, unable to get, um, unable to arc dodge, Luke uh, was big. And now Keo is gone off the table now. So uh, Andrew a little bit behind the eight ball here, trying to make up for that loss and objectives. But... Uh, he does have uh, he does have the chance here to turn in and possibly get some damage here. Uh, if I'm Andrew, I got to be worried about my Luke Skywalker. Uh, he is definitely uh, getting flanked here by the rest of Josh's list, and also probably still getting shot on Han. So you you got to do something here. You probably uh -huh. got to go fast here, right? Try oh to yeah. Get out. Uh, to answer a quick question, uh, somebody was asking about Josh's Force Tokens, where do they come from? Uh, those are the official Worlds 2022, That's or 20, right. well, it was in March, 2023. Yeah, 2023, yep. The last season, Worlds 2023, um, World Championship Force Tokens, they were from a set of, of, the, of the Ghost Crew, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. And that's the, the markings of Kanan. Yes. That's where the Force comes from. Yes. Very nice tokens. They, mm -hmm. they did a great job on those. And, and the, the way it, it looks is it's basically it's the color on one side and then black and white on the other side. It's not red, um, but it's, it signifies active versus inactive there. We actually gave, uh, AMG gave us a bunch of those to give away, and we gave a part of my last big shipping push. Uh, I gave tons of them away. Tons of them. It was fun. Yeah, absolutely. They they look just gorgeous, and they're a nice bit of swag to, like, make the game look really good, mm -hmm. make it pop on the table, right? Right. All right, so what do you think is going to be the win condition here for Andrew? Do you still chase after Han, or do you turn and try and go into the, uh, the, the shooting gallery here that's coming in from the top of the board? So... Both Luke Skywalker and Han have the staying power to stay alive to the end of, to the end game. The risk the the risk factor you have out there is Fenral. Like he's your liability. He can die pretty easily. He hits hard, um, but he's definitely your liability. I think you have to lean into the objectives. That's yeah. you got to use your Fen your Han to click objectives. Normally you're out there trying to do attacks, but if you can have a two one advantage over a few rounds. You can make up the points for Keo, all right? You can make, yeah. make up those points as soon as you can and, uh, and then just start pushing from there. Obviously, you'd like to take a ship off the board, but right now, Josh's ships are clean, squeaky clean. And positioning-wise, Josh is in a good place. His Han um, will be able to have another obstacle for obstruction for defense if he wants. We'll have clear shots on the Luke Skywalker from Andrew's side, uh, maybe even his Fen Rao, depending on how fast he goes. I mean, he's in a good, aggressive position right now where he can take his two ships that are at the top, his Luke and Fen Rao, and crash towards the center. Um, Josh is in a good position. I, Andrew is going to need a little bit of luck, I think, and some, some cheeky flying maybe that we're oh, not yeah. seeing. Yeah. Now, do you uh, do you still keep on just kind of just barely into the fight, just trying to take those range three shots, or do you move them a little more faster uh, in preparation to uh, to kind of avoid uh, getting shot here by the other Han and Luke in the center? I mean, you do have th uh, three shots coming in. I think you take uh, t hit the gas. 
Yeah. Hit the gas. You have the other the other ships crashing in. And one of the, the keys in, in trying to keep ships alive is cycling, right? You yep. want to try to cycle in. This one's in. This one's out. Um, this might be a time to go ahead and get that started. All right. So we get the uh, the movement here from Keo. Keo's going to do a hard one. Uh, uh, slightly bumps on. And we're going to go ahead and claim. There we go. All right, next up is Luke. This looks like a one bank. Probably going to try to grab a lock here. Uh, target lock, set it up. Yeah, and the important Some Luke part, on Luke violence. Oh, yeah. The important part is just making sure you don't over pursue, right? You want to keep that arc as wide as, as possible to try to catch him in your net there. This is some I into the Star Wars verse stuff. <laughs> Did you ever see the um, Star Wars Summer Vacation? Yes. Yeah, yeah, this is go. what we got going on right here. Yes. Yeah. It's uh, the Lego Summer Vacation. It's fantastic. Luke, for the action, chooses to reclaim the center. Andrew knows that he's got to stay on pace, at minimum on pace, with the objective scoring if oh, yeah. not uh and claim the bottom so he's ahead 2-1 well oh, interesting chooses to bank to the outside to give himself a little bit of room maybe to get through yeah. that triangle of obstacles there at the top left part of your screen yeah probably gonna do a, a boost just to make sure he yeah there we go we get the boost here from han uh, just making sure he's going to be out of reach for the opposing Fenrau and Han. Uh, might still get a shot off, but it looks just out of range three there. And now we get Fenrau uh, coming in. Yep, hard three. Coming into the, the back of Luke there. He does have that bullseye lined up. I think you might just claim. Yep. Yep. Put put go. the foot on the throat. No, this is mine. Yep. You got the uh, the passive mod for Predator there to shoot onto the Luke there. Yeah, you should be good. Oh, interesting. All right. Does the two hard to the inside? Yeah. Claims the bottom. Two one advantage, Josh. And now we get the hard three from Han, covering the objective. Just barely makes that in. Look at that. Look at that, how close that maneuver was. There we go. Nice. Probably just going to get a uh, double focus here. Probably going to get two shots, possibly. Might reach into Fen and Kyo. All right, so now Josh gets to engage first. And looks like he's going to have an obstructed range three shot into Luke Skywalker. Triple focuses. Mm, too far away from the obstacle, it looks like. Reach. He's got the tip. He's got it. There you go. Hit crit. Luke Spencer Force, he's okay. Easy. I mean, right now, Josh is winning the round anyway. As long as he doesn't lose any ships, he's winning the round two to one. All right, now we get Josh's Fen attacking Luke here. Luke recovers the Force with his ability. Uh, ooh, gets Predator, triple focuses, mm -mm. does not have a focus token, and is out. All right, this is going into. Looks like he called Keo. On these that guys one. going into Keo on the other side. Yep. Andrew's Fen versus Josh's Keo. He's going to. Han going into the other Fen. Oh, Three hit hit crit. Who? Oh. He's going to take hit crit. What's. Oh, he's got the best. Does he have best car? He's got best car reinforced. There you go. And he yep. uses both charges yep. to be like, nah, 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 nah. Yep. <laughs> turn down that. <laughs> Actually, yep. not even turn. He got rid of it completely. So both best car is done. Yep. So two going into Keo. Oh, Keo spends the focus. So he's going to spend the force. Yep, loses the shield there. Now, the important part of best card plating is that you get to see the card and then make the decision, and that's what Josh did. Saw that it was it looked like a hole breach, right? Yeah. And then decided to flip it down. A uh, very, very powerful card to make sure that you don't get the wrong crit on your ship. That's right. Yeah, he opted just to get rid of both. And that is a proton torpedo full string going into Luke. Luke spends both, and it's going to take two shields. Go down. 
<laughs> All right, now we get the revenge shot from Luke going into Han. Two hits and a focus. Single squiggle. Looks like we'll get a shield off of right. Josh's he's, Han. He's got the reroll. No. No, he's, he's gonna take it. it. He was out. He, yeah, he takes it. Keo right. going into Luke. Range one. Single hit. Gets one force. And a -okay. safe. Yep. End phase, plus two to Josh, plus one to Andrew, and the gap is starting to form. Six to two. Josh Benjamin in the lead. Yeah, uh, that was definitely a, a strong, another strong round for Josh. There was a possibility for Fen to uh, have some uh, catastrophic damage there uh, at Rain Street, but that best card coming in really clutch there to uh, take away that hole breach. Uh, so that way he doesn't have to worry about that for the following round there. Uh, and uh, and now it's Josh's game to lose, I would say, right now. He's uh, doing really strong here. He has pretty much no other damage on his ships uh, beyond that uh, that that hole that he had to discard. So yeah. it's good. I think if I'm Andrew talking about, like, what are some of the decisions you can make, um, his Han targeting Fenral, I think, is a good idea. Keep yeah. keep the distance or make sure that you're not getting, uh, you know, front arc to front yeah. arc and just work on getting rid of that ship because then all of a sudden you've, you've entered a trade, your Keo for his Han, and Andrew would be up in yeah. the value category there and in points, yeah. uh, being that Fenral is at five and Keo uh, is at three. Yeah, absolutely. And now begins the chase here for for uh, for Andrew, right? He's uh, he's not in a great spot here with Luke uh, to really like get any significant amounts of uh, of like a good vector to mm -hmm. keep on tracking down Josh's on. And you're also getting shot at pretty consistently from the rest of the list here. Um, I mean, I'd imagine that he's probably going to want to do R two D two region here to try to make sure Luke stays healthy. Um, but that also takes away from the offensive potential that Luke has against the rest of this list. You know, we're going to see some uh, some additional shots here uh, from Josh going into probably Fen Rao and Han coming in now. Yep. And as a reminder, the Fen Rao that took damage was Josh's Fen Rao, not Andrew's. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And Josh shot. Uh, yeah. Luke. Luke into Luke. I mean, we could uh, name Josh's Luke Juke. <laughs> Juke. Juke and Auk. Juke Skywalker. There you go. Juke Skywalker. <laughs> I like it. Where are all the dice cups? Uh, we did have one player using a dice cup uh, earlier this week. I don't remember yeah, who it was. Yeah, it was yesterday. Was. I think it was like game four, I want to say. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what he didn't have? He, didn't, he did not have that Nicholas God technique. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, the, the the suspenseful reveal. Yes, I'm, I'm telling not. you. <laughs> they did not rub the cup. Nobody has that same swagger nope. that Nicholas Scott has. Our <laughs> scared the crap out of me, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> He outmaneuvered us. Yes, he did. I I was like, I am very. It's very easy to jump scare me. I've only done that once. Today. Yeah, that's pretty. That was pretty good. That's pretty. Oh, a trade for a massage. I'll take it. Oh, that's good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay, so we had a dial drop that accidentally uh, messed up the obstacle there. So they're uh -oh. just readjusting, making sure that it has the proper distance. Do you want me to check the tape? <laughs> do yes, no, check it. They're they're deciding what to do. All right. Nope, not checking. All right, leave it leave it as is. All right. All right, they're just consulting with the judges just to uh, make sure that uh, everything's properly uh, taken care of there. All 
All right. The judges are not going to the booth. <laughs> I think it's one of those things where it's like if this happened in a non-stream game, they wouldn't have access to it. So yeah. they're trying to do, trying to. It's a good opportunity for the judges to practice. Like, what what do we do in this yeah. situation? Yeah, yeah. And the important part is that this happened during the planning during phase. During planning phase, yeah. If it happened during activation, that'd be a different problem. Yep. But they're feeling good about it now. Both players agree. We got thumbs up. We're moving on. All right. So we're on to round number four. Now, you better believe, JJ, if somebody hits that debris, I'm going to look up. And it's yep. you see that debris is <laughs> in the room the same spot. I'm like, I want to go see. Flag on the play. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we're going to get the side slip here from Keo, uh, fitting in right behind Luke there. And looking to take an evade token. Okay, mm -hmm. there we go. And Luke choosing to... Flip the dip. Let's stop. We're going to stop yep. chasing Han because Han's faster than us. Let's get in the fight. There we go. Takes the 4K takes the stress all good all right here we go here comes andrews luke takes the one bank oh is he going to be in range here for another proton torpedo shot oh, actually no he would have spent both of them already right because the original one was on that was yeah so that's that's josh's luke Mm -hmm. Takes a focus. Yep, there you go. Because he spent both proton torpedoes already. So now we get Andrews Han Solo coming in. Does Yeehaw. the three bank. He's going to get those guns to bear. That's right. So Andrew, he's get, making sure he's got some shots. He's going to be able to fire on both Andrews, Luke, and Fen Rao. All right. And we're going to get a three bank here from Andrews uh, Fan Clatter. Oh, uh, looks like he's lined up a pretty good range one shot there into Keo. Probably just going to take a focus. It's too dangerous to take an objective mm -hmm. at this point right now. I mean, it is dangerous, but it costs. Like, it's one of those things where it's like, uh, it cost me two po a, a, a point deficit a turn or two. I well, know it'd be a single point because he's got the one on the bottom versus the points that a ship costs. Yep. Now we're going to get a three straight from uh, from Josh's Fenrau. And this may end up being an overlap. As we're working out this bump, this would be a perfect segue for a uh, an ad read for a collision uh, repair company. We don't have that sponsor, so if you work in one of those, hey, hit us up. We'd, we'd, love, to, we'd love you to sponsor us. Uh, what I was going to say is we got two more rounds after this. We're going to be cutting to the top four. Uh, cut into the top four. I always get get a kick out of the, you know, especially baseball broadcasts like yeah. on the radio when when all the, the there's always a sponsor for everything. <laughs> and as I always just laugh. But I mean that's what that's the point, right? It's supposed to be like tongue in cheek, yeah. but make you remember it later so that if you if you need the service, hey. You all do right. It. We get the uh, one bank there from Han. Uh, yeah, just take two focuses there. Uh, looks like you can get a pretty good shot there onto Luke here. Uh, so starting up here, we're going to get Andrew, who will engage first. All right, All right so we go. Range one into Fen. There's no Ooh. Concordia on this one. Do you re-roll it with Han? All right. Yep. Focus, focus into three. And that's two going into Fen Rao. He's down to one hole. That'd be a bit, that'd be a good trade. Biston shot coming in now, trying to decide who he wants to go into. Luke's clean on Josh's side. All right, range two shot onto Keo from Han. Spence focus for three, not saving anything for defense. 
I'm here to. S oh. Oh. All right. She so has evade. She has a force. Yeah. He's gonna spend both. He's deciding. Yeah. He's like, uh, -uh I'm it. not gonna do that. It takes one shield. All right, so I shields down. <laughs> so they accidentally bumped the uh, another the right obstacle. One there. <laughs> All right, so that's a range one shot here from Fenrau into Kyo. Hit crit crit. I I think you spend it right to try to get into the mm -hmm. kill. All right, here we go. There we go. Yep, that's it. Pop, pop. Yep. There we go. Loose stabilizer, and the last crit is damage engine, and Keo is gone. So both Keos are removed from the game. And that's it for Andrew's side for the initiative six here. So now we're going to get the uh, the revenge shots here from Fen and Han. Han starting first, range two into Luke. Checks mix. Oh, one fell out. And there we go. Focus, hit, hit, crit. Ooh, uh, Luke taking hit, crit. That's going into the hole here. And it's direct hit. down to one hole. Ooh. Ooh, that's tough. And there goes Han on Josh's side now. Yep, we got original trilogy Han shooting at uh, <laughs> the other. The sparkly Han. one tries again. Still only one hit. Decides whether he wants to spend the focus. Spends it for two, and Easy. safe on that side into the Luke Skywalker. All right, Fenrau. On Josh's side. Right now, you can't see the model. I promise it's there. <laughs> Looks like he's got a range two to Andrew's Luke Skywalker. Taking a range three to Luke Skywalker. Triple focus. Should have a... Uh, is spending it. Is staying aggressive. That Luke has two force. We'll have to spend both and does to avoid taking any damage. Ooh, to so, avoid dying. Yeah. So decision time for Josh coming up. He's going to have to choose whether to shoot into Han or Luke. I still think you go into Luke, right? Yeah. Three? Yeah. So Kyo's removed from the board here. Now we're down to initiative five. So now we get Andrew's Luke. And that goes into Fenrau. Gets two hits. And Fenrau plenty says, no. of evades. Proton right. torpedo from Josh's Luke into Andrews. All right, juke into Luke. Juke into Luke. He's got one. He's got a focus out there. Yeah, he's got a lock as well. He's gonna spend it. Oh, and all right. So he's got got a little got a little greedy there. No, he does. He has a focus, doesn't he? That, he didn't yeah, that's the why. Focus. There you go. <laughs> that, like he only had to reroll the I blank. Think, I think he rerolled it without realizing he had the yeah. focus. And yeah, but that's gonna be enough though. Yep, that's enough. And down goes Andrew's Luke. Getting a lot of damage here uh, early in the game, man. They're they're uh, advancing quite rapidly there. So eleven the, to five at the end of the round. There, uh, Josh will be scoring two more objective points there, uh, bringing him up here. Add him on. Yep. Boop, boop. So we're at a score of six to thirteen right now. Josh officially has the high ground. Yeah, and uh, and Josh still has a great uh, setup here to continue punishing here. 
uh, his Han can easily go around the obstacle and continue to uh, just pummel into the opposing Han Solo here, who's going to be behind the eight ball here with uh, the opposing uh, Fenrau and uh, Luke Cott on his tail there. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a tough comeback for Andrew. He needs to clear the Fenrau on Josh's side off the board. That would be the first kind of start that would bring him up to 11 points. Um, that's that's where you have to kind of start, I think. Yeah, and don't discount the Han. I mean, the double tap on Han can be very, very accurate. And green dice or green dice, you just never know. That's right. Yeah, I think the difference here is the fact that since Josh was able to hold on to his his Luke Skywalker is fully healthy. Yeah. And having that defensive force, being able to bring it back, uh, it just allows you to carry just a little bit longer than, than a Fenrau that uh, can be tagged by a Falcon that, that won't give it Concordia yeah. if it doesn't want to. Yeah, and not having the uh, the strength on the objectives right now for Andrew is just mm -hmm. putting that timer on him right now where oh, he's, yeah. he's definitely behind and he is forced now to really focus on the attack here, uh, not really being able to concentrate on the objectives. And Josh right now can easily win on objectives mm -hmm. alone and just spend the rest of the game uh, just, uh, just taking shots from afar if he needs to without being in too much danger. Now the road roll will be very important here um, for that centerpiece there, yeah. um, as it's going to determine whether or not uh, Josh can keep time on target here. I mean, I think a, a one bank to the right for uh, for Juke will, will still keep time on target on Han. For anybody who's just who's just yeah. logging in, by the way, we're calling <laughs> Josh's. I mean, we could just use call him Luke, Luke now, now. Yeah, because the, the other one's dead. <laughs> So we were calling him Juke. Now it has nothing to do with the upgrade Juke. It's because Josh, Jay, we dropped it down because there were two yeah. of them at once. But now that Luke is the real Luke, right? Yes. That's how this works. <laughs> yes. There can only be one. So, yeah. So Luke being able to uh, just do that one bank would be okay. Uh, but that Fen Rao, uh, just uh, not in a good spot to, to turn in uh, unless Han gets out of the way there. Uh, it's going to have some trouble uh, keeping time on target, uh, especially since he's stressed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're about halfway through the game. Uh, this planning phase definitely definitely matters. You can see Andrew; uh, he's hovering over the board, just trying to trying to find find the answers to his issues. But while he's doing that, let's remind you that we do have some other premier event streams uh, coming up in the near future. I believe in, or correct me if I'm wrong here in the order. I think the next one would be Golden State Games. Yes. Mm -hmm. Followed by the St. Lawrence Open. Mm -hmm. Followed by LVO. Pax. Oh, Pax, right. Yeah. That one, that one is the maybe one. That is the one that we're trying to figure out. We're going to use some some spy technology to <laughs> try to get in there and, uh, and get, a, get a stream going. And then uh, LVO. So that will be four premier level event streams. Three, I'll call it three to four, depending on situational yeah. things. Yeah. Three and a half. Three and a half. All right. So we get to the start of the next round here. Yeah. And it looks like Josh will have the initiative here. So he will move first. And we're going to get Luke moving up here. Uh, just doing the one bank there. Or sorry, one straight. And probably just placing down a lock. Yeah, there's a yeah. lock. And that is on Fen Rao. Looks like he put it on mm -hmm. there. Mm-hmm. We'll call him Ben Rao. <laughs> There we go. Two straight. Now that one. might be confusing because Josh Benjamin. Ah, <laughs> dang it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Got oh, no. Sorry. I had it in the wrong order. St. Laurent is first. Golden Skate, St. Laurent, Vancouver. Oh, yeah. I forgot about Vancouver. Vancouver. Sorry about Vancouver. Yeah, yeah. Pax LVO. All right. Get double focuses there. Han is in a pretty good spot over there. And we get a two bank from uh, Josh's. Fang, Fen Rao. Is he bar He's going out, it looks like. Get oh, does he go for the objective claim, I wonder? 
that really puts the pressure on Andrew right there if he gets all three objectives. Mm -hmm. Somebody just jumping in asking, is this the final? No, we're cutting the top four after this seventh round. Now, I would say two out of our four top fours have already been decided. The two undefeateds did the, uh, the honorable thing, right? And said, all right, we're both guaranteed in the cut if we have an intentional draw. Intentional draw. Mm -hmm. Moving on from there. Going undefeated throughout an entire event gives you the right yep. to just draw into the cut. That's how it works. Yeah, so when I, when I played in the Richmond Open, I decided to play the other undefeated player, and then uh -huh. we, we drew anyway. Yeah, at, yeah. The, at the end, you're like, eh, we'll just draw. Oh, you drew, and like, it naturally we played, came over the game? It naturally came to a draw. It was yeah. hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> the question is, who of them have invites already? I'm, I'm Stanny, uh, Ryan Staniszewski is one of them. Whoop, whoop. Go squad. Uh, he already has one from a store championship. Winand is the other one, the player out of California, I believe. And I could have that completely wrong. Is Winand out of California? Not Whatever, sure. doesn't matter. I mean, it matters, but in this conversation, he's the other one. I'm not sure if that's a new invite or not. All right, so we're going to get the train track set up mainly because Han does end up bumping into Luke, and it's going to matter to see if he ends up turning just enough where he can get that uh, that side arc to point at Fen Rao, uh, Josh's Fen Rao, which is behind Fen, um, Han, and everything is coming off of that. Sure. <laughs> so I think they're taking off to see if the location ends up being bamboozled by the corner of some of the other ships. <laughs> He's reassembling the Han here. Okay. So the lines, the line was, for, they were looking at the corner. They lined up the, uh, the center. That's why they put out the train tracks. Yeah. Now, do you stress Han here? To get the focus? Yeah. I mean, you have Chopper as mitigation. You might not want to, you might not be willing to use Chopper because that, that resource of health is very important to Andrew right now. Yeah. All right, so we get a range three shot here from Josh's Han all the way out to the other Han. And we're gonna get a Han reroll. There we go, two hits. And counter reroll. One evade, so that's one more damage there on Andrew's Han. And range zero shot here from Han into it's Luke. Luke. Luke's in the force. He's going to take one. one. There we go, range, range zero. zero. Luke into Han. Josh trying to dig in some damage. Does do one. Shield down on... Blue Han. Mm -hmm. Plus right. two to Josh, plus one to Andrew, 15 to seven. Josh is very quickly hurtling towards 20 points. Ah, 20 <laughs> points, let's go. Yeah, definitely having the uh, those objectives there, uh, just putting the pressure there and closing out the game. That's that's exactly the position you want to be in right now. Yeah, for exactly. Josh, just making sure that you can uh, keep your keep your guns trained on the opponent and uh, and making sure that you can prevent them from claiming those objectives and pushing damage. That's That's the way to close the game. Now, some of the other games that mat so there are there were two other games that quote unquote mattered for who's going to make that those final two spots in the cut. So the things that one of the things we were talking about yesterday is strength of schedule and how that works. Essentially, strength of schedule, if you want to boil it down, is the win percentage of your opponents going past. Um, it has the the. SOS doesn't go up or down if they win like 30 to 5 versus like a 19 to 18 win. Like it's the same. It gives you the same amount. So it's going to 
but what ends up mattering is if we end up getting into that. Actually, Winand, we had a question for you. Do you have a world's invite yet? No. All right, so you did earn it. We we're, were trying to figure out who gotcha. who had drop, what. Drop cool, cool. All righty. So Winand has secured his world's invite uh, by being in the top four. Um, getting back on my train of thought. Boop, boop. I forgot to ask him if he's from California. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Um, he told me yes. Nice. Um, but anywho, the uh, crap. My train of thought. What was I just saying, JJ? It's gone. The uh, the uh, other matches. The oh, the other matchups. Yeah. What may end up mattering is that second tiebreaker because they're so close yes. in in SOS. That second tiebreaker of of, uh, of 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 mission points. Yeah. Could end up mattering. All right, and it looks like uh, Josh retains the initiative here, so we're going to mm -hmm. get the movement from uh, from Luke. It's going to do a hard two. And probably going to reclaim that center objective. Yep. This is mine. <laughs> he sure does. Yep. It's, he's got 3-0 right now on the objectives. All right, and now we're going to get the move from uh, Josh's Han, John. It's going to do a uh, hard two here. Just keeping time on target here on the other Han. Probably just going to do a, mm -hmm. a simple double focus. Double focus, hang out, project, protect the objective. Yep. Don't touch my box. Don't touch the button. Josh's fan round, just keeping distance, saying, listen, I got one hole in a dream, and I want to make it to the next <laughs> round. <laughs> It's like, you know what? I did enough. I, I think I'm just going to be over here. Mm hmm Barrel rolls out. Some of that ace play history from Josh Benjamin kicking in. And get the three hard here from uh, from the opposing fan. He's coming. The boost focus. Raise three shot. Trying trying to get him. Yeah, he, he might reach him. We'll see. Boost. Oh, that's really nah, close. That's far. Don't, out. don't yeah. do the focus. Focus for protection. Yeah, because you got Luke uh, just staring down at you. And there we go. We get the hard turn from Andrew's Han. Andrew, has, is he going to shoot here? Oh, is he going to click the objective? I think he arc dodges um, the, the opposing Han. Han. Yeah, yep. There you go. And does claim the objective there, uh, opting not to uh, double tap. No shots, no, no shot. shots. All right, range tune to Luke. Uh, will Han reroll? Try it again. Oh, Nothing. Oh, worse. Mm. He didn't have any mods. Josh's Luke does have a range. Looks like two, obstru uh, three obstructed. Yeah, range three obstructed, it looks like. And, yep, perfect. There you go. Spins. Safe. I'm no glad range. I took the focus. Yeah. And there it's we go. Another two to one. 17 to eight. And Josh pushing forward here, uh, looking to secure his victory here in the next turn, hopefully. Mm -hmm. uh, if, you, to if you can have that 3-0 three, three objective turn, he just yes. lost it up. Yep, exactly, and he... Uh, though, though, hold on, wait uh -huh. a second. There could be, if, obviously, they may not know their SOSs, but there could be an argument to say, actually, I want to get only 19 mission points, and then... <laughs> Concede? And Imagine. then, uh, no, no, you, you get 19, <laughs> and the following turn, try to go 3-0 on the objectives. That way you win at 22. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. That's a, I know that's a little big, big big brain, but if you were tied an SOS for somebody, that those extra points may matter. Yep. Or especially if you're able to uh, to take out uh, his Fenra or his on uh, yep. on top of that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> six, six blanks <laughs> on the road roll. All right. 
So Andrew now uh, with the initiative. Looks like we just got Luke. one bank. I think he, we just saw a, a heard a regen for the Luke Skywalker. Yeah, Luke got to be worried a little bit. Uh, he will probably get some aggression from uh, from the from opposing Han yeah. Solo and Fen Rao. Takes a focus as well, so has three focus modifying options next turn. Two bank. Yep, choosing the flip there. Yep, so it's 2-1 Andrew right now. Yeah, Fenrao in a good spot there. He's not getting any shots here into him, and perfect time to claim that objective. Ooh, going towards the top here for a three-turn. Look at that, playing the objective, saying, all right, I go 3-0. You can't click them all in the same turn. That, uh, that Han on Han matchup right there, it kind of feels like uh, like the old uh, Galleon warships at sea. Yeah. They're, they're turning their broadsides to each other to like <laughs> take shots. I heard three bank. Yep. So he'll claim the center, most likely. But it will be a 2-1 advantage, Andrew. Actually, hmm. Yeah, I wonder if you should have claimed the top one. Yeah, I think so. I think to claim the top. Yeah, one because and then you do the him. next one next yeah. turn. Yep. Hana Han violence. Now, uh, Andrew's Han does not have the range to a. Oh, 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 oh. he did not have the range to, to an obstacle. Only rolls one hit, and Han just natties out. And no shot from Andrew's Fen. And Ben. Uh, Josh's Hun uh, re-rolls into one crit. And oh, got one. Got him. Got one shield. Plink. No, sorry. That was on Andrew's uh, yeah, Han. Yeah, Andrew's Han. Yep. Eighteen ten is our new score. All right, and here we go. I think from here you probably secure it with. Um, you think the three sh bank from Han will get him closer to the edge of there? Probably not. Now, I think just a hard two and just double focus. And if Fenral decides to come in towards the center, probably give yourself an opportunity to shoot at uh, at Andrew's uh, Fenral. Yeah, I mean, honestly, if I'm if I'm Josh, I'm just probably just three banking. Or get as get as close to the bottom objective as you can, so that you can have a two two point objective and lock it out, lock out the game. And Mounty's delight in the chat says taking the middle is the right one, is the right choice because Andrew can't get it next turn. Fair point, fair point. If that is the goal. If going over 20 is the goal, though. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Maybe you wanted, you only wanted, uh, you know, to get one a turn. All right. It looks like uh, Josh has the initiative for this turn. Uh, he's going to activate Luke. I'm going to do a two, sh uh, two hard two. Getting in Fen's way. Yep. Claims that objective. Or out of, potentially out of Fen's way so that Fen flies past him. Because that's a really safe place. I, there's... Fen could maybe get a range zero shot on you, but can't really do much other than that. And we get a very fast maneuver here from uh, Josh's Ben. Get uh, out Josh. of town. Yeah, I don't. I, no, thank you. Yep. He might just stay right there. That's a good spot. Yep. Just slap down the focus on. and. Yep. Unlikely you're going to get shot by by the opposing Han, but yeah. Going for the the focus and the boost. And there we go. We get the big three bank. The big three. Yep. We get a hard three here from yep. Fenrau. Side to side. Oh, it looks like he's in the perfect spot there. Oh, nice. Potentially out of arc. 
He's got the Concordia, flips the objective. Oh, no. Bumped him. Ah. Uh, he, was in yeah. the, he was in the yeah, arcade. Yeah, he was in both. And he, he opted to claim the objective. Yep. Just relying on that Concordia faceoff to uh, to help out Fen there on defense. And now we get the boost from uh, Andrews on here. And Staying he's aggressive. Have shot. Yep. I like that Andrews staying aggressive. Never give up, never surrender. All right. And oh, beautiful big range money. one shot. Yep. Oh. oh. Okay, so he should still have best guard, right? Correct? Yes. So I'm assuming he used best car and took yeah. one damage. Uh, so he, he would have had one, three. so it would have been two damage. Because he, he he knocked out one hit, best card the crit, and that left two hits remaining. So okay. that's two hold damage. And Fen Rao hitting back with uh, two hits and a crit. And Han rolls one of eight, so that's going to be the last shields there on yep. Han. And now we get Andrews Han. Nineteen twelve. Yeah, nineteen twelve. After all the shots. All right. So let, let, let's uh, let's for Andrew. Some... He's he's gotta he's gotta get the middle objective right. Yeah. He's got to take the middle objective. And is there a way he needs to win? He needs to be the second player. It's, it's what yeah, needs to happen yeah. here. He needs to be the second player, yeah. yeah. So let's see. If he, if by chance he's able to get a crit chain onto Han and take him out, yeah. by some chance, right, that would give him seven points. Yeah. He has to still keep two of those objectives to give him 21 points and then just hope that his ship survive. <laughs> yep. If he's a second player, he could, he could do it. Um, a, cause then Josh's... Han Solo, which is in the middle of the board, would be out of the way. You take your Fen round, you one hard, claim the bottom if uh, if it has been taken from you, and then the Han at the top comes to the center, claims the center, and that would be a three point turn for Andrew. Yeah, and if you kill the the Han, uh, Josh's Han on the top, that's only five points, right? So that's not going to give you enough to take a lead at that point, right? Are you mean Fen, the Fen at the top? Is what yeah, you're saying? yeah, yeah. Not Han. Han's Han, Han second. Yeah, you, you need. Uh, yeah, I mean Andrew to kill Josh's Fen on the top. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Folks are saying, get Fen and kill. The, take the middle. Yeah, with Josh's Luke Skywalker there, it's going to be tough for Fen Rao to really contest that center objective. Yep. Andrew can't guard the bottom objective. You're correct. That's why he's got to be second player. He's got to be second player so that he can do the one turn and hope for that it's in range so he can click the bottom. Yeah. And if, if Luke, that is if Luke is going away. Yeah, hard to should still put in close to range one of that, that bottom. Yeah, but the bottom gets claimed by Josh. What? I understand that. I should yeah, it, it. <laughs> So, so I, I mean, if if Josh moves Luke, Josh out of the way. moves first, then Fen claims it, then it okay, claims it back. Yeah, I mean, the Han at the top claims yeah. the center, and then that would be a three-zero turn for Andrew. It's gonna come down to the player order roll. Yeah, yeah, by far. How can you not claim the middle and the bottom? Andrew's Han Solo is right at the top and can turn in. 
he does have that objective right there, but I think. Oh uh, no! Is there an obstacle there? There's an. Yeah, I didn't see obstacle the obstacle. There. Yeah. No, nah, never mind. It's all. <laughs> it's all garbage. Throw it all out. <laughs> never mind. Didn't yeah. see the, the debris there. Yeah. <laughs> it blended in. It blended in. It blended in. It, it's the one that they didn't bump. You know. Yes, so the I, one that they did. Correct. <laughs> I thought they moved it out of the way like all the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh bad. No. Correct. Now, now you understand my yes. statements and why, why, yeah, why exactly. everybody's at home like there's a debris there. All right, and Josh is first player. Yeah. So there's hope. Uh, one straight from Luke here. Okay. Folks are saying three hard and a dream for that top Han. Yeah, maybe. And he reaches, <laughs> got him, yep. Josh secures the bottom. Fenral saying, nope, I'm not gonna get involved. <laughs> I am five points and I shall stay alive. I think, I mean, at that, he's practically an objective. Yeah, he, <laughs> he is practically an objective, yep. Little, little loot box around there, driving around. I'm gonna take the points out of you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Han doing a hard three around Fen. Oh, does he fit? Ah. Oh, wait a second. Dom Flanagan says, if he gets a stress from the debris, can he still use chopper to push the center button? Oh, it's right. It's as a, long as he clears the debris. Kind of a moot point here. Josh did clean that bottom one. He's only going to be able to get three. Oh, uh, yeah. And here we go. Han just doing a three straight. So even if he does kill Fen Rao here, that's we need to save the, the game state to yeah. check the check if the yeah, move. Right. <laughs> Quick, the game right time. <laughs> Use your time stone. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I wouldn't want to bother Andrew, but if if uh, like, I'd be curious to go over there. Like, hey, can we just reverse that move and see what the three hard looks like? Yeah. Right. Would you have gotten around there? And that's three going into Josh's Fenrau. Fenrau takes, takes the last damage there, and that's it. Fenrau is gone. <laughs> and All right, and it. they call it there. So that's two points to Josh Benjamin. It ends up at 21. All right. Well, congratulations, Josh Benjamin, winning the game. But that doesn't necessarily mean that he's in the top cut. Yeah. It's yeah. going to depend on that SOS and all the other tiebreakers to see how it ends up. We do have thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, Row 6, 626, Chief, and J-List, our Grand Admiral Patrons. And all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members, thank you for your support. Gold Squadron, out.